All right, so I'm here at uh, Before They Were Famous Studios. I'm a little bit nervous getting some anxiety. Don't know why, but uh, it is what it is. So uh, we'll see where they are or where it is. I mean, I have no idea, it's somewhere around here. I'm kind of lost, but I think this is the right spot from when I, uh, from when I saw the video. But yeah, we'll see, we'll go and uh, we'll see if Michael Mercury or Mercury. Sorry if I butcher your name, buddy. But let's go, boys. I had a dream that someday I would just fly, fly away. And I always knew. Going up the stairs. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Moment of truth. Everyone's kind of working right now. Bro, <laughs> Michael McCrudden? McCrudden? I'm sure if I put your name. Is it okay if I record? Yeah, buddy. Yeah. I'm Brady, man. Holy shit, dude. Oh, okay. Thanks to me, man. Dude, I'm like fanboying over this. Yeah? But, yeah, dude. Hello? Nice, hello? What's up, man? I'm gonna go in here. Look at this. You got their big ass camera. All right, guys, that's gonna be, that's sick. This one million subscriber pack, holy. Look at this, dude. This is this is where it all takes place. Holy! Whole team is sick. Big bears like blink. Green day, gotta run it all. Cause I can't take it with me. Yeah. When I'm done. So everyone would hang. This is the improv off mine. Everyone would hang it from whatever was here. Yeah. And it just kept breaking off on everyone. Oh, I see. So yeah. everyone kept getting their smashed. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what they so they made with that, eh? So I'm guessing also, like, these there's probably like gold-plated. Yeah. And then they were like, man, we're gonna be making a lot of these. It's gonna be expensive. Let's uh, let's figure something else out. Well, yeah, dude, I mean... It's probably, yeah, I think there's like a hundred thousand of these. I don't know. Probably a little, wow, man. How many million uh, I used to know? I have no idea, but yeah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Video, bro! Mm-hmm. All right, what's up guys? So I just want to say thank you to Michael for having me, man. I, it really does mean a lot um, just to see the whole atmosphere, the whole how you guys make your videos. And uh, it was really nice just to see everything, man. So uh, anyways, with that being said, boys and girls, this has been your boy, Brady Dean. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next video next week. And uh, we'll see. So you should put us up with your boy, Brady Dean. And today I'm here with Michael McCrudden. Uh, the host of Before They Were Famous, and uh, I just want to say thank you for uh, for having me and uh, yeah, come by. It's, it's, it's a pleasure. You came all the way from Sudbury. Like, how far is that? Uh, Five hundred kilometers. You know, I mean, no, you know, it's pretty far. It's far. It's, it's far. cold. <laughs> I can feel the coldness coming out of me still. It's coldness, <laughs> dude. It is cold, man. I mean, surprisingly, when I got up here, it was like a you know windy. It's chilly, right? Yeah. Because the wind chill, but. Uh, Dude, this is uh, this is a pleasure to actually see the whole studio and like you know, so and, and, the, and the pandemic's ending, so I haven't had a lot of people come by. Yeah, it's been kind of like three years almost of, of like lockdown. Yeah, so uh, it's nice to finally get people coming in. I want to have creators come by and like like collab and do all sorts of stuff. So I'm excited you're here. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, dude. And like like I saw a TikTok when you were like you know dancing with this guy with the motorcycle and stuff, bro. Really? <laughs> that was funny. That was good. Oh my god, I don't, I'm not a dancer. That's hey, dude. I saw you know yeah. you were like eh, you know I'm trying to be a good sport. Everyone creates different types of content, right? Exactly, man. Yeah. Exactly. You know, like you have your niche, which is like doing like before they were famous stuff right so you're telling me what kind of content you want to make right yeah yeah so uh the content that i've been kind of doing was just like vlog stuff right so vlog and just like kind of documentary stuff like explaining about my past and stuff but uh like what i want to do uh is like make a documentary like like say on yourself man like how you got started in the industry actually you could be my first subject sure you know, like, you'll be my very first let's subject, go i'm good at know? this so um i didn't even think of any questions but so how did you start? Like, how did you find your niche into getting into this, like the media industry, right? Oh, um, yeah, I had a whole career before YouTube. YouTube to me uh, was like, I didn't really see it as what, it, what obviously what it's become. I, I, I never thought my career would be on YouTube. I thought YouTube would be a place I'd post. Like I made TV shows. I was a, a wannabe MTV host, a much music host. 
So I used YouTube as like my resume, and I was yeah. like, "Yo, I make, I make, I can write, I can produce, I can act, I can hope, I can do everything, right?" Yeah, yeah. So, but I never thought that that would actually be the place that would pay me, and that would be not only like launch me, but it became a business. Like yeah. I got ten people working on this channel at, at certain points. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, like if you go way back, I, I was a kid actor and like a model uh, in high school. Yeah, yeah. And then I figured like. I was I got this voice that's really hosty, Hell and, yeah, bro. and I like pr to make like you know uh, high like TV kind of content. This is what I do. So I just was like, I'm gonna be a host, and then I just made the hostiest show I could ever think of. Dude, and now look where it is, man. With 3.5 million subscribers, man. Just like you have a whole team here, you have a whole studio, you know, and like you guys post content every day, yeah. Oh, yeah, on multiple channels. I think we produce like 35 videos a week. Holy. Uh, yeah. Some of them are in Spanish, some of them are long format. Then we do all like social media stuff, probably another 50 videos on social media. Holy. Building a website. Uh, it's a lot of content. It's busy though, it keeps you guys busy, especially though, especially working out there. Yeah, I've done I've done my decade, right? So exactly. You put your work in and now it's time to get other people to do, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, right? and it gives other people opportunities. Like I'm trying to like not host as much. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because you have client. Yeah, Clyde's client's the client now, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we've had plenty of like over too, right? My fiance is a host. Yes. Yeah. By the way, congratulations, man! Like, you know, uh, the weddings. Uh, you guys are going to Vegas. We're going to Vegas in nice. the next week. Yeah. Well, freaking perfect time that I showed up. Yeah. You know? But yeah. no, congratulations, man. That's uh, that's some big news, dude. I know. Yeah. It's wild. The the couple that YouTube's together stays together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that one before, but dude, I love it. Yeah. Um, I'm just like my whole life is YouTube, so. She just had to join it, or the relationship probably wouldn't have last. So yeah, then right. she's got to now she's like half the business, right? So it's, yeah, dude, it's cool. She has three hundred and fifty thousand subscribers herself, man, or close to four. Yeah, yeah, close to yeah. Last time I checked, yeah, yeah. But uh, is she here today too? No, uh, we live next door, but she's sick actually. Fair enough. And then with uh, the trip coming up, she doesn't want to like get sick or get oh, COVID, exactly. oh, and then we gosh. can't go. Dude, everyone's been getting COVID recently. Everyone. And dude, it's stupid, man. But like, I mean, I think everyone's just gonna catch it, right? I mean, it's not as bad as people make it is. Like I had it three weeks ago, I'm double vaxxed, but I still randomly got it. But it was just like a mild headache and just some aches and that was it, it was gone within like a day. So I'm lucky, I never got it. Dude, But I heard the obviously the first one was uh, way worse, dry. right? You know, yeah. but, your life was yeah. on the line. Yeah, I, man, it's I been, mean, it's, I just can't, I can't wait for this to end and for too. life to start again. Me too, man. Me too. But yeah, a lot of people, uh, the office has had, like, I'd say 80% of people here yeah. got it. Me and Karen was like, yeah. You guys are really, like, compared to they all got it and you. I know. Yeah, I'm fucking lucky, eh? And some people probably just wanted a break, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you know, or just get time off, you know? Yeah. But why yeah. don't you take off time in a job like this, bro? Like, this. This is see, this is something like a dream of a mind to do, right? So which is why like I messaged you like all right back in March, like asking if I could come down for like free experience, right? Just to see the ins and outs of the business, the, the whole media aspect of things, right? So like I don't know, man. One day, you know, hopefully hopefully I'm in whenever, right? I think that's you know, I figured once this gained momentum and, and got, you know, just basically it paid it paid enough to keep growing and, and run a business out of. Yeah. I was like I wanted to be that much music host so badly yeah, man. that other people are gonna want to look at this and want get inspired, want to work here, want to host these videos. I just get the ins and outs, the whole business, the whole everything, right? I mean, yeah, it's, there's a lot, like, lot to it. There's a lot of knowledge that goes into it too, right? Yeah. Just like work, and, yeah. And there's so many different ways to, to do it, right? Like you were mentioning Eric, yeah. uh, Logan Paul, like th those guys uh, are vlog personalities. And that's a fantastic. Some of those they're. Well, I think Logan Paul's the richest, but oh, that shit. Eric guy's making huge money, right? Yeah, dude, because he created, or, uh, you know, like he created now, right? And just like he's collabed with like Mr. Beast or, you know, just like stuff like that. I, I think he's like they're hanging out all with like their friends, right? Yeah, man. Crazy. Wow. It's crazy how he got to like 1 million subscribers in one year, right? Like yeah. that's, like, didn't you guys do a Before They Were Famous song yet? We didn't actually. I think we reached out to him and we didn't hear back, so we didn't bother. But um, I, I remember when he was like getting momentum and Logan Paul offered him a job. Yeah. And, and, I'm like, wow. yeah. and he turned it down. I went, that is so ballsy to me, mm. but good for him. Obviously. Yeah, why now look what he's doing, man. He's 
got like two million subscribers already. Yeah. So honestly, yeah. And yeah, he's yeah. doing the Mr. Beast formula. So these kids are gonna hit 10, 20. And these are like like the Jake Pauls, even me. Yeah, it was a lot easier to get a million subscribers in 2017 than now. Yeah, dude. Yeah, just everyone is just trying to do it, right? Everyone's like has so much different content. Like everyone has different personalities, right? Yeah. So it's like, what's that niche? Like, what's the next big thing? Yeah. Right? Like, and I feel like good content, like let's say Air Records, and sort of like for you, well, like, your content's a little bit different, right? Because then you guys go like behind and actually get information of who that person was before they were famous, like their childhood, their everything like that, right? Yeah. So. I don't know, man. It's different, right? It's different. And like, some people, though. for me, are like, dude, you do the exact same show every day. Yeah. I know, and I'm like, man, I know, I've been doing it for 10 years, like, I'm tired. Yeah. But new people come, and the old people go, but there's, I'm always getting, like, every day there's new stars, there's a Super Bowl, new quarterbacks. Dude, right? There's the America's Got Talent, and there's a whole new bunch of viral people. You know, it's like the Tonight Show, there's always going to be new stars. Yeah, exactly. I still I was showing you that I made that course, right? Yeah. I kind of I broke down 50 different niches, mm -hmm. and then I find that there's a niche that you can mix with another niche. Mm -hmm. So I find before the famous is like celebrity and history, biography. But then what I was saying like they're unboxing, and you could be like just a video game unboxer or just yeah. a, just a transform a guy who builds transformers could have a million followers. Oh, fuck yeah, dude! Or like I I made a Lego thing last. I saw that, dude. That's it's a the liberty. Yeah, that's a channel. Yeah. yeah, and apparently you were missing one piece or something. Yeah. Yeah. Did you end up finding it? No, the uh, dog ate it or never was. No, the right? Yeah, that's the, nice. the dog has been. Making some weird noises. So <laughs> interesting. <laughs> but everything can be, yeah, as you, but it is a lot of time and dedication. I know, like, for kids, like, what, how old are you? 24? Yeah. You kind of got that window from 18 to 26 before you got to pay a bunch of bills. That's, no, those are the prime time. Yeah. I years to, I'd, and I put two years into, into your vision. Yeah. Full time, though. Like, work at a bar and then do it all day, you know? Yeah, well, because what I'm going to do is after I finish my course in March, uh, I have this opportunity to do two weeks in, two weeks out. Uh, so you work two weeks at the place with like working, and then two weeks I would just focus on content. But my whole thing this year was to make content every single week, so one video a week, yeah. right? And like, it's 100% doable, like 100% doable. It's just like finding that content, especially when I'm in a small city, it's like, there's not much content there. Here in Toronto, you have like everything. And so much more opportunity yeah. and collabs too. Exactly. Right? And I mean that's my thing, like I haven't really collabed with like you're my first, you know, collab, right? So like fuck yeah man. Um I would why not make content about the city? Yeah. Because I, I think of everything about what people Google. So building a Lego, people are Googling that how to build this Lego. Yeah. Or like Transformer, or, um, what happened to Beast Wars? People are Googling stuff. So they would be Googling like how cold is it in Sudbury? Yeah. Uh, what's the the biggest uh, landmark? Uh, what's the population? Yeah, cool. Those would be all my video. If if but you probably don't want to talk about Sudbury because you're sick of that. Yeah, but for the people that don't know about it, right? They'd be like, oh, what's this small town city, right? Like, uh, for instance, in Sudbury, we have this thing called the Big Nickel, right? It's it's a big nickel. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it's like a tourist attraction. Yeah. But it's just like you know, and then there's. Uh, so that's it. You have a thumbnail there because it's obviously already something people are like. What the hell is that? Yeah. You have search search ranking because people are looking it up. Uh, and then you can do, then you add yourself to the equation, and that's how you get the watch time and you build the connection. And then, like, when you have a hundred thousand or a million followers, then you can talk about anything. Exactly, yeah, because you built that, uh, what's the word I'm trying to look for? Uh, influence, following. Influence, following, yeah, yeah, growth, yeah. Um, fuck, I was gonna say something, and it just, yeah, but no, you're but, and then if you kind of almost have to, I would look at your channel, look at what's done the best. And then I would just start making 10, 100. Mm -hmm. I would just do all those. And then you like, look at your, your analytics to tell you everything, right? Like what got the most impressions, what people watch the longest. And you just, yeah. just keep doubling down on what works and get rid of the rest. Yeah, and like, and that's what I've been looking at too. Cause like people watch like maybe like two minutes of a video, right? Which is why I cut it down to only two minutes of video because it's like a 10 minute video, right? Like if it's interesting, if it's long enough, right? They're gonna stay and watch, right? But like, I look at my impressions and it's like one minute, 25 seconds, average. Like on the last video that I made, like the, the my little story there, it was like average one minute and 20 seconds, 27 seconds, right? Out of like 300 views that I got. So it's just like, I don't know, like, 
I'm definitely gonna pay for your course because like you have a lot of insight, like I said, right? Mm -hmm. a, a lot of knowledge and stuff uh, when it comes to the whole business and you've been doing this for so long, like a decade, right? Yeah, so, uh, uh, I mean, my first YouTube video is 2009, so. Holy geez, eh? What is that? That's 13, years. oh my God. <laughs> yeah, dude, 13. Oh my God. That's crazy. And the amount of videos I've made, I probably would say I've made like 10,000. So I worked for Inform Overload and um, the most amazing top five to top top ten. five yeah man i did the top yeah. five videos and then i did a, a new an entertainment news channel for for land and another youtuber and i man i would do like 20 videos a day there crazy. so i made so much content it's crazy did you ever get burnt out yeah burnt out right now <laughs> go to vegas but yeah <laughs> yeah you get burnt. you always at the end of the year so i do a daily now i have hosts so this year i, I didn't feel as bad at christmas but typically uh January is so hard because you're the money's not as good as December's the best money because okay. of advertisers, but then January drops off a cliff and then you're like, okay, now I have to do it again every day mm -hmm. for another year. Mm -hmm. And I was feeling that in 2017, 2008, January was always so hard. It's also Canada's like, just the drive sucks or so the weather sucks. You just you're yeah. you know you start putting on weight because you don't get to go outside. Yeah. So I see that you've been working out, running, and in the gym. Yeah, uh, and then COVID happened again, and I lost all the momentum. Dude, yeah, I mean they locked us down, bro. Yeah, I know. Another like two months, no problem. Nah. So <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, burnout, burnout, and like some of my staff get burnt out, right? Like also the comments, people watch your video on the first hour, and then they might watch it a year later, and you'll find like you get all the love right away, and then you just get like, a lot of hate. yeah, man, like just negative, negative. And people from all over the world, and some of them are just on like fake accounts, leaving yeah, trolling dude. stuff. Stupid. I mean, and people might hate you because the color of your shirt or your race. Or, uh, it's just and it's stupid, bro. Like the whole thing for me is like, I, like I don't like to judge people, man. Because like I said, going back to the thing, like you don't know what people have gone through in their life, man. Like the struggles that they had. But then again, that like the people when they type that stuff, they could be going through some bad day, totally. right? And so like they're using that to take their anger out or whatever, right? And like they're that, jealous, yeah. And like that, I understand, man. But at the same time, like you can't take it to heart. Yeah, that, that's that's what I've learned to be in this because the internet can be a little bit of a dude. The CBC, you know, like our CBS, I guess they can't. They've turned off the comments. That means like yeah. the most trusted broadcasters in this country can't handle the. And I'm like, man, I've been doing it for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, talk, gr grow some thick skin. They're the ones with the, with the 100K jobs. Anyway, Dude, that's yeah, another yeah. conversation. Fair enough, yeah, man. Yeah. But, uh, These mics aren't even, we're doing this on an iPhone. <laughs> but you know, I like to, I like to look professional. I like to look professional, you know, yeah. I love it. I love it, man. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much, you know, for the interview. Uh, I mean, yeah, we're gonna go take a look at the studio now, so. Uh, this has been Brady Dean and uh, your host, Michael McCrudden. And uh, yeah, take it easy, guys. Peace. Bye. <laughs>